Hello and welcome to Breakthrough Stats. In this video, we'd like to show you how you can sort game statistic report information to see which players performed best in different areas. The first thing we need to do is create and export a report. So I'll open the application, and as we've done before, I'll create a report in the report section, and here I can either choose a single game statistics report or multiple game statistics to get a snapshot of how players performed across several different games. I'll set it up and then I'll touch generate report. And the next thing I want to do is touch export and then choose CSV. And here I'm going to email this information to myself. And then I'll open the report data in something like Excel or Google Docs, and it will give me this really nice spreadsheet with all of the statistics arranged from right to left, which makes sorting really, really easy. So for example, if I'd like to see which player on my team had the highest effective field goal percentage, I simply need to click a box within the effective field goal percentage column, and then I'll go to the data tab up here in Excel, and I'll choose sort, and I'll select descending. And here it rearranges all my players with their tied statistics by order of which had the highest effective field goal percentage. So you can see that Brown had 150% here, Asher had another 150%, and then it goes down in descending order. I can also sort in ascending order if I'd like to see which ones had the lowest. So I could go back and hit sort and then do ascending and it shows me which players had the lowest effective field goal percentage. And I can do this with any statistics. So if I'd like to try two point percentage, I can just click here and then click sort and I'll try descending. And it rearranges all the players by those that had the highest effective two point shot percentage. If you like, you can get rid of this extra data up here at the top if it's bothering you. You can just click the little boxes and delete that information so it's more streamlined and looks a little bit cleaner. But you can see how quickly and easily you can get a breakdown of which players are performing best in certain areas and which players might need to work on some certain areas of their game. Now sorting this data is very similar in a Google spreadsheet, but we need to be a little more specific about our selection before we do that. What I want to make sure I do is select all of my players with all of their statistics so that when I sort by one particular statistic, I don't just sort that column. I sort the players and all of their other statistics attached to them as well. So to do that, I'll click this heading right next to my first player to select the entire row that has all of my player statistics. Then I'll go down to my last player here and I'll shift click this heading right next to him and now I've selected all my players and all of their attached statistics. So to sort by one particular data column, so effective field goal percentage for example, I'll go up to data with this selection and then I'll choose sort range and the column I want to use is L because that's the effective field goal column so I'll just select this here and choose column L and then click sort. And now you see it's sorted the data in ascending order with all of the players and their other statistics tied to it. So I can sort that for another column if I like. I'll go to two point percentage here. I notice that's column E and I'll go to data and click sort range. I'll select column E and this time I'll do Z to A sorting, which means that it will be descending. So it'll start with the highest and move down to the lowest. I'll click sort. And you see now on the two point percentage, I start with the highest percentage and it moves on down through the rest of the players. So very similar sorting to Excel, but there's a couple more steps that you have to take to make sure that you've got all of the player data selected. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us.